for his inspired vision of the future of a free people and for the dignity he brought to the office of the presidency, Washington will be remembered for as long as men dream of freedom. The great emancipator, Abraham Lincoln, guided the destiny of the nation during its greatest trial, the war between the states. Let us have faith, he said, that right makes might. And in that faith, let us to the end dare to do our duty as we understand it. Lincoln was a prophet of America's permanence and of liberty, tolerance, and social justice for all our people. To political freedom, Theodore Roosevelt extended economic freedom. He was the daring trust buster, passionate conservationist, and friend of the common man. At a time when the U.S. was emerging as a world power, he led the march toward new frontiers, forging new links between east and west of the Panama Canal. We here in America hold in our hands the hopes of the world, he wrote, and shame and disgrace will be ours if in our eyes the light of high resolve is dim, if we trail in the dust the golden hopes of men. The mountain was dedicated August 10, 1927. The symbol of the moment was a set of drill bits handed to Borglum by President Calvin Coolidge. With his customary showmanship, the sculptor put them right to work on the face of the mountain. For guidance in his design of studio models of the presidents, Borglum studied photographs, portraits, and life masks using the sculptor's tools of light and shadow to create likenesses with human character and vitality. Ninety percent of the monument was carved with dynamite. The surface stone was cracked and soft. Nearly half a million tons of rock were removed to reach granite solid enough for sculpting.
As they approach the final surface of the sculpture, the drillers carefully honeycomb the rock, holes two to three inches apart. With the granite thus weakened, steel wedges were used to chisel off sections. Pot-like drill marks on the faces were removed with a small air hammer and facing bed, a finishing process called bumping. It left the granite as smooth as a concrete sidewalk. The Washington head was unveiled on the 4th of July, 1930. In 1936, President Franklin D. Roosevelt spoke of the permanent importance of Mount Rushmore at the dedication of the Jefferson Head. Ten thousand years from now, if we can meditate for water for the hour of the sentence, because I think they'll still be here, what they will think about us, let us hope that at least they will give us the benefit, not the doubt. They will believe that we have honestly stripped in our day and generation reserved for our descendants a decent land to live in and a decent form of government to operate under. In 1941, as a final dedication was being planned, Guts and Borkland died, leaving his son Lincoln to close down the work. When he first arrived in the Black Hills, Portland was 57. Until his death, 17 years later, Rushmore had been the focus of his life. He is all but impossible dream. In both its conception and realization, Rushmore is uniquely American, proclaiming bold ideals and big aspirations celebrating the spirit of our people and the sweep of our civilization, reminding us of the hope a democratic society offers for the future. It is a monument no less to the men who, working together, transform a lofty dream into a colossal reality, a work of art for the ages. A monument's dimensions shall be determined by the importance to civilization of the events commemorated, Borglum had said when he began. Let us place there, car pie, as close to heaven as we can, our leaders, their faces, to show posterity what manner of men they were. Then breathe a prayer that these records will endure until the wind and rain alone shall wear them away.
Vamos a la camioneta. Uf, está bien caliente. ¿Cómo cuántos grados estamos? 95 grados. Este, vamos a comer a un pueblito que está aquí cerquitas porque andamos con el desayuno con un cafecito así de que ahorita les vamos a tomar allá. ¿Qué tal les pareció, chicas? El, el parque. Hace un año cuando yo vine estaba en construcción y no pude grabar mucho. Ahora sí, andamos por todos lados. Así es de que espero y les haya gustado este video. Va a haber un poco de aburrimiento porque tomé video en toda la historia de lo que significan las cabezas, las, las faces. Y pues este aprende un poco más de la historia de los cuatro presidentes, ¿verdad? Entonces este quiero que vean esto completo. Esto se los voy a. Aquí voy a terminar este vlog y ahorita en el restaurante voy a empezar otro vlog. Así es de que esto fue todo lo de las cabezas de los presidentes acá en Rushmore, a South Dakota. Y pues tengo mucha hambre, me estoy comiendo un barquillo. Así es de que chicas, pues me lo estoy pasando súper. Ahorita queremos ver si podemos rentar un racer para grabarles algo allá y los voy a enseñar el soundtrack. Así es de que aquí voy a terminar este vlog de Rushmore, South Dakota y ahorita empezamos uno en el restaurante porque si no se va a hacer muy largo. Así es de que espero les guste y pues me puse unas pensitas para andar cómoda, ando bien light, así es de que si no no hubiera aguantado el calor. Así es de que chicas, espero les guste este video. Ok, bye. Nos vemos en el siguiente.